Hey everybody, it's Mark here from the Vanguards of Gaming. As part of our channel, I'm going to do some book reviews, and the book that I've read most recently is this one. Dun, 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 dun. Malice Darkblade, Volume 1 by Dan Arnett and Mike Lee. This is a book that takes place in the Warhammer fantasy world, uh, and it is a Black Library publishing. Um, and it's actually a mashup of several different books. So, ooh, look, there's a book. There's another one. There's a book over there. Uh, it's The Blood Prince, Demon's Curse, Bloodstorm, and Reaper of Souls. Uh, and all of those are kind of mixed together so that you can read them in sequence. Really nice to get it as a full volume. Uh, some other benefits of getting this book uh, as the big volume. You have a nice little map of the Dark Elf world here. Uh, you also have... A author's introduction. So Mike and Dan kind of explain the beginnings of Depp Malice and how he developed as a character, which is some nice insight to have uh, if you're reading the book. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about the story. First, let's start with Malice. Malice is a bad man. Not really a man. He's a dark elf, but he's a bad dark elf. Uh, he loves things like hate, betrayal, killing. Uh, all those sorts of things are things Malice is interested in on a daily basis. Um, so, the first story, The Blood Prince, kind of starts off on his Harkseer cruise, which is a kind of proving cruise for the Dark Elf young nobles as they go off into the world. So, he's going to go off and slave, you know, just a hard day's work as a Dark Elf. And um, he goes on his trip, and you meet a lot of nice characters. And one thing I can say about the book, and this is kind of uh, spoiling it a little bit, the characters are awesome, but the more likable a character is, the more likely they're going to die in some horrible fashion. That's kind of just the nature of these books. You find a character, you're like, oh, that's a really cool person. They're always there to help Malice out and stuff like that, and then they're dead. Uh, Malice might even kill them. You're, you're like, dude, why'd you do that? He's just a bad guy. Um, so anybody who meets or surrounds himself with Malice pretty much is a goner. Um, so don't befriend Malice. That's the, the lesson to be learned here. Uh, the Blood Prince kind of works as an independent story. It introduces you to the world. Really cool. Uh, you get to learn about how bad the Dark Elves are. And awesome. How, how awesome they are. And then the Blood Prince. Oh, wait. That's the first one. Then the Demon's Curse, uh, the second story, is all about, uh, I don't know, maybe how he gets cursed by a demon. Oh, whoa, that's the whole story. So uh, you get to learn about how he gets cursed by a demon, and then he ends up doing the demon's bidding. Uh, for pretty much all the rest of the books, through Bloodstorm and Reaper of Souls, he's going and he's collecting magical artifacts. Uh, so you get to read about him collecting things. Malice's nice collection of demon artifacts. Uh, so the demon kind of has his own speaking lines in there. He pops up in Malice's head. And he tells him things, and Malice is like, leave me alone, demon. Uh, he drinks. He drinks a lot, Malice does. Uh, apparently, alcohol is like the only cure for demons. Uh, so if you're having a demon problem, you might want to turn to the bottle. Uh, but that's pretty hilarious. You've got a lot of things going on in these books with um, epic battles. It has great explanations of battles. It kind of introduces almost every different kind of dark elf character one thing that i like here's my mini version of the demon's curse book so you can have a picture of him on a cold one uh demon has a special cold one spite who's like a super smart cold one he actually listens uh, but they talk about the cold ones and how they're just awesome raptor beasts that they get to ride around they also do um the shades show up you have witch elves all sorts of different Dark Elf characters. So if you have a Dark Elf army and you want to learn more about Dark Elf lore, this is a good book. And you also get to learn about Malice Darkblade, who he's actually a character in the game as well. Uh, but I'm going to be reading Volume 2, uh, and I'll be doing a book review on that as well uh, soon, once I finish the book. And I'd like it if you guys left some comments on the book, if you've read it, if you plan on reading it. Let me know what you think, and I hope you all enjoyed this book review. So, signing off, Mark from the Vanguards of Gaming. Thanks.